Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So a while ago, I went through the trouble of putting this TRX 200 SX motor, 1986 vintage, onto this easy go electric go-kart. And I did it and I got it running and we had a lot of fun with it, doing donuts and all that. And I kind of stopped, um, not that I hit roadblocks, but I kind of kind of ran into the situation where, oh, uh, what do I do with this now? What do I do with that now? And honestly, I got a little tired of the project. Got a little tired and a little bored with the project, so, so I stopped there. There's quite a bit to putting a motor into this golf cart. Um, this was electric, so it had quite a bit of corrosion. So I, I used the POUR15 to reverse that. You also have to take out all the battery boxes. I took out the rear end, as you can see. You can see I used, um, this is just that uh, strut they, they use for um, putting up pipes and so forth. You get it at Home Depot, it's kind of a C channel. So I kind of used double that for the frame, clamped it on up front. And um, in the back here, it's just kind of sitting on the rails that are already there. Put um, a one inch axle in it, pretty standard stuff. Um, not all that hard to procure. A little pricey, but not hard to procure. One inch pillow bearings. There you go. They're greasable. This is just um, conduit electrical conduit it makes it easier to space everything out so stuff doesn't slide around especially if you're out ripping things up with it um we did have it out we were doing donuts with it all that kind of stuff for shifting this is just the standard shift lever i just um installed it kind of upright Right, you can see it there. Um, drilled a hole through it, put a bar, right? Got a pivot, and you know when you move, when you move this, you shift it. I did not um, hook up reverse um, yet. Reverse is on the other side of the motor, and I'm trying to figure out. Some people put a a thing they squeeze on this, like a miniature handle you squeeze it and then um, you move it forward from neutral and you would pop right into reverse for the throttle key for throttle right this is your standard gas pedal I just use the lever on it right so as you step on the lever you can see this is your your grip thing right it just pulls it the ignition system I think I used a standard 12 volt pit bike. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's a little bigger. I, I used the standard 12 volt to start it. The plus with the 12 volt, assuming you have a good battery, you have a nice hot spark. The minus with the 12 volt, if this battery is dead, I can pull that string forever. I'm not going to get a spark because the CDI wants 12 volts to start. The other thing I was kind of slowed me down was this exhaust system. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to drop down low and come out the bottom with it, right? Or if I kind of wanted to cut this way and come out where the tire is or what I wanted to do with it and I didn't really have the fabrication abilities at that time to make a decision. Now, as I look at it, I think I'd like it coming out by the tire and I think I'd like this thing to be relatively quiet. Not that I'm sneaking it in anywhere where a golf cart shouldn't go, but there we are. What I'm going to do with this video is I'm basically going to reintroduce this thing. And to do that, I'm going to put a jumper on it. 
I'm gonna see if the carburetor is still with me um, trickle some gas into it and see if we can't get this thing to start up I think I had it right to the point where right there on the key switch it'll start Where's the wire harness for this thing I don't I don't see a voltage regulator yeah I don't I didn't hook up a charging system yet so um, yeah we'll jump it and see if it'll come back to life I did go through the trouble I made a battery box out of the top part of a computer case and then used a double tie down situation to hold it in place so yeah let's see if we can't get this rig to fire up so here we are we uh, we got the jump pack on it um, right here hopefully you can see that jump packs on gas I'm gonna try it without choke try it from that side so you don't spend the whole time looking at the ba at my back okay chokes on Just have the whole thing tilt up. 
That way there'd be plenty of airflow. Boy, this carburetor goes a long time. Anyway, so I'm reintroducing this. Any thoughts you guys have, let me know. See, you need to even put brakes on it. Anyway, I'd like to thank everybody for dropping by to watch, comment, subscribe. Please remember, feet down, heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.